What do you want? Tell me what you want. I want to give you what you want, what you really, really want. I want to give you what you want, what you really, really want. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, welcome back to the House of Horror. And today we are unboxing another Loot Fright Crate. I honestly forgot that this crate even existed. It's about two months late, but as they say in the business, it's better late than never. Or maybe in the case of this, it's better never than late. Yes, I was not too excited about this loot crate, and in fact, I was not planning on getting it, but stupid ass me forgot to cancel my subscription, so here we are. I believe this one is called Midnight Snack, which is appropriate because I'm pretty hungry and it is almost midnight. So we're just gonna crack this open, cut the bullshit, and get right to it. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot, and I appreciate all the love that you guys give me when you decide to give me some. Leave me a comment down below. Let let me know how I'm doing, and without further ado, let's just crack this bullshit open. Here we go, 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 fuck! All right, here we go, here we go, Ooh, okay. The first thing I see in here is a shirt, and I see the fly. Let's take a look right here. Holy fucking shit, bro. Look at this shirt, okay, this made it worth it already. We've got a shirt, Jeff motherfucking Goldblum, right there on the front of the shirt, man. Fucking spitting up fucking fly goo. If you know me, you know I love the fly. It's one of the few movies that truly disturbs me. And this shirt is great. It appears as if it's glow in the dark. I'm not sure if it's actually glow in the dark, but it gives out that illusion. And it's really cool, so I'm excited that I actually got this. This probably is the last loot fright crate I'm gonna get, unless there's a really, really good one. Especially with the two month delay with this one. It's just, I don't know, it's shady stuff, man. So, moving on from the shirt, I do really like the shirt, but we're moving on from Jeff Goldblum, because that's what happens, Jeff Goldblum doesn't stay around, you gotta move on, you love Jeff Goldblum, but you just gotta move on, because you know what, he's not committed to you. And here we go, I knew 1000% that when this was announced that there was a Twilight Zone piece in this Midnight Snack Loot Crate, that there was going to be, it's a cookbook, obviously from the classic Twilight Zone episode, with the aliens that come down to serve man. And it is a recipe box. It is a Twilight Zone recipe box. Let's open this up. We in the kitchen. Yams everywhere. And how do you get this off? Oh, um. I don't know how this comes off and I don't want to rip it. Okay, all right, good. Did not want to rip it. This is a precious collector's item. Precious collector's item. So let's see, we've got the alien gibberish that says to serve man. And we open it up and Twilight Zone recipe card. This is actually pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use this for recipes. I might have to get my fiance's approval. We'll see if this fits in with the feng shui that we're gonna have going on in our kitchen. And yes, it says to serve man. It is a cookbook, because get it? The episode is to serve man, like on a silver platter, not serve them like you're here to help us. Serve us because you're gonna fucking eat us, bro. So moving on. We've got something in a little container here. It says Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga. So let's read about the Baba Yaga and see what that's all about. Deep in the swamp dwells a fearsome crone in a hut on chicken legs. She's been known to help the lost souls who stumble upon her just as she's been known to eat them alive. In your travels, be careful not to cross paths with the Baba Yaga, a supernatural witch of Slavic folklore. Let's see what this witch is all about, bro. Crack this open. This is similar to the La Llorona thing I got in the last thing. And again, this is another bookmark. I have no functional purpose for this. I'm never going to use this, but it is, it is pretty nice. I mean, I can't really complain. I'm not gonna use it though. But nevertheless, it is cool and we are moving on. All right, what do we got next, dog? All right, we got just, just a bite phone stand. Oh, so this is a phone stand. We see some teeth. So this is probably gonna be some teeth to stand on your phone, or phone your stand, stand phone, phone the stand. Yep, as predicted. I thought they'd be white teeth, but nope, they're silver teeth for your phone. I really don't know how your phone would sit in here. Let's, let's see. I guess that's how you do it. That's how it's done around these parts. Again, I will probably never ever use this, but you know what, it's the thought that counts. Next, we've got another pin. This is the more, Mordeo, Mordeo. Don't know what this is, looks like a Slipknot mask. So you know what, I can't complain, you know? Looks like Slipknot, what are you gonna do? Next, we've got um, a vomit bag. Vomit bag, I got a barf bag. I bought a barf bag, everyone. Scary devil girl number two, the devil made us spew it. Inner demons. Oh, there's multiple barf bags, multiple barf bags. I don't wanna throw up because this fucking loot crate's so bad. 
So yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, it's a barf bag. It is a fucking barf bag. And next, we've got our little handy dandy informational card that tells you everything that you got in the box. But first, let's take a look at the box itself. Looks like we're in a mouth. We in a mouth. Mouth. All right, so in this Midnight Snack Loot Fright Crate, we got the exclusive Twilight Zone recipe box, the exclusive Just a Bite phone stand, the exclusive The Fly t-shirt, the exclusive Baba Yaga ornament keepsake, the exclusive Lose Your Lunch Bags, and the exclusive Mordeo pin. Wow, exciting stuff. I cannot believe this was $30, but you know what? I got some note cards and a pretty cool shirt. So I can't really complain. This one probably is the weakest out of the crates, I'd say. I mean, if you have a barf bag as one of your selling items, it's not gonna do too good. It is getting really late. I'm probably not gonna edit this until tomorrow. And I have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The House of Horror. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. I have a ton of videos I wanna do in October. Let me know what you wanna see. Do you wanna see 15 Phenomenal Facts videos? Do you wanna see more unboxings, reactions? What do you want? Tell me what you want. I wanna give you what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna give you what you want. When you really move on. So that is it. I'm losing my mind. I'm signing off right now. Take care and stay spooky.